I think I made a valiant effort. I made a couple of mistakes though. I want to get the the I want to get the sparkle out of the way now because we were traumatized by the, the last time we had to do sparkle in Act Three forced. And I'm gonna go for the shop, and the shop should give me the aggressive insurance for the sparkle here. Well, we did lose a lot of life though. Of course, I'll get frost here. But the 800 Fs was is definitely inflated. A lot of premature Fs. Take a leap for block. I really need the shop to give me something for the sparkle, otherwise it would probably suicidal here. This is good damage. Is, is this better than barrage for damage? I think barrage is probably the better damage source right now. Whoa, can I buy both? Uh uh, okay, map time. 300, yeah, I can buy both. Is that, is that the run? Is that the play? Buys, pellets, same shop. That's exactly what I, maybe what I probably needed right there. And what does rebound do for us? Do we ever need a blessing or a leap here? What does rebound do for us? Rebound gives us more cold snaps. I hope that's still enough to kill the sparkle. Yikes. Excuse me? What? What's up, uh, Mirak? How you doing, uh, MRC Childish? Promise, I want to play both, but I don't have, I don't have uh, enough energy. If I had energy, I can play both right now. Upgrading Zap is actually relevant there. Was that double buys pellets by floor by floor five? That's crazy. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. So I struggled on this stupid silent run that maybe, I don't know, I, I could I could find a way to win against Time Eater with this attack face deck that I still have to learn. And then we get rewarded with this. I wonder if this is relevant because drawing to bias, plus it's a skill that's free, so it helps me draw into the bias and it's a skill that's free. This, this might be irrelevant. 
but the burns are unnecessary. The problem is the burns don't matter once I have cold snap up. So I like this because it helps me draw into the bias soon, and it's, it's just a skill. That, it's, just, it's a skill for the orange pellets. This is also just an attack that helps with orange pellets as well. Like overclock, the thing about it is like just getting into bias ASAP is super important, and you can probably even play both because that's your skill. And once you have your your focus, the burns don't matter because of cold snap. FTO does similar things in terms of pellets. It's a free attack for pellets. And it also gives us damage. This is one of those runs where it's like, do not lose this. Uh, I feel maybe it's better because of the damage aspect of it. I need more frost. Like another course that would be great here. To survive. Steamburr is not bad. It helps me get blocked, right? Just just so I can take a little bit less damage. We can probably get away with uh, upgrading here because I mean, I guess Grumbling Knob kills us, right? Are we scared of Grumbling Knob? I can even go for two elites maybe, but that's like maybe pushing my luck. I don't know, Gremlin Lab probably just wants a little bit of life here. This run is fine. I, I need to get a cold snap twice and then we're good. I need to get a cold snap again, we're fine. Do a second elite now because I basically rested. So recursion seems pretty good here, right? With all the focus that I have. What's up, Raymundo? How you doing? This is good front loaded, but I think we just rather just do focus thing and recursion seems good with all the focus, right? I'm doing pretty good. Today I'm trying to try out a little bit more. I can go for another upgrade, but maybe I can just go for another elite because at this point triple century gunman number is pretty free. I think I'd rather get a relic over an upgrade here. So also another relic as well. This fight isn't too bad for us because we do have um, the ability to get rid of vulnerable. Do we want to do rebound recursion first? No. If I kill one of them, hmm. Uh, can I? Is it possible for me to kill one of these guys and then do pellets? It's po impossible, right? Uh, th that works. That works. Hopefully the Az is a nice little weekend. I think ball lightning is pretty damn good. 
Bolt landing goes well with barrage and cooldown stuff. I like bolt landing here. I, I wonder if. Mm, I like bolt landing here. I wonder if I have to play, play around R1 more often though. I can do flex pot and get strength here, but there's no 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 need. Just you know, throwing it out there. I played it. Did I, did I get your DM? Uh, I haven't checked DMs. What, what do you say in the DMs? It's a great game. It's an amazing game, dude. Absolutely amazing game. I knew you would like it, man. This is AoE plus Dark Orb, which is pretty good. Are we going a little bit too crazy in terms of damage? Like, we, we want to reliably hit by Scott. We also just want Frost. I think we just win off Lightning alone, right? So Lightning and Frost just wins the run. This is good AoE and Dark Orb, sure, but like... Maybe we play around Art of War more, and maybe we just look for Frost and keep the deck small so we just only hit buys more often. Because if I take a Doom and Gloom, sure, this, this is pretty good for Act 2. But what if I'm just supposed to play around double buys? Because this is so strong on its own, and keeping the deck small, getting this out, and getting Frost just wins the run because Lightning does damage. But this, what this does do is an AoE thing. What's up, Sugridum? And Dark Orb is pretty nice, but. I don't know, I feel like if I bloat my deck with too many attacks, not only do I get less out of war, I draw into bias less often, and I also see my cold snap less often. And getting a frost rope is actually pretty crucial. Now, as soon as I get a hologram and more frost rope, we're fine. Maybe I, maybe taking one of this is fine. I have enough attacks for pellets though. I have four strikes, cold snap, rebound, ball landing, barrage, <laughs> voice cracks, everything. We're still fine. I think this is okay to take one of those just because I do want to start moving strikes. It feels really good. We don't rest here. The, what, what, we don't rest here, but what we, what we need to do is uh, definitely get cold snap more often. So if we can get two cold snaps, we probably win, right? I don't know how to do overclock now, but I think overclock getting cold snap out is really important. I guess getting dark over doesn't m help hurt with the damage. Adding a burn is a little bit monk ass, but I think. Alright, so we're gonna take some damage here, but I mean, I could double defend and, and wait unbiased. I could like, double time wait and bias, and then I'll get Art of War next turn, so I'd save some life, because we are kind of low in life. Or I could just do bias now, and once we get cold snap, we just win. Uh, maybe I'm not in a rush to do bias now. If I do bias now, the darkness becomes huge, though. If we don't get cold snap, we can probably die next turn. So what if we just double defend? There's no rush, right? There's no rush. Do, we, do everyone do dual cast and dark just to accelerate this fight? Are we missing out too much damage but not playing ball any strike here? What about playing lightning? I mean, maybe the dual cast surely accelerates the fight in a positive way. We, we, just, we need more cold snaps. We don't have polygons, so we could just die because we don't have enough cold snaps. Now it seems extremely relevant to um, push Dark Orb. So I think Rebound Recursion seems really good here. Rebound Recursion is lethal, right? Because then this is going to be 27, 27 plus 8 next turn. I'm pretty sure that's lethal.
Is this just put as many bats as possible and win? Maybe? So, we need to get more frost. We need to get like, more sources of frost here. We probably just win with sources of frost here. Now, Sneko is great, but like, Sneko Palace is horrible, so I'd rather just get Slaver's Caller here. We don't need the energy for Hall Effects, I don't think. We definitely just want the gold helps us get frost as well. I wonder if I could have won the silent run though. Alright, we can go for elites. We, we need just frost first. We get frost and we can go for three elites here. Let's go for the shops then. Art of War's energy. Ay, ay, ay. I guess that was a good thumb pot, honestly. That was a really good thumb pot. I'm kind of curious to see what this hits, though. Fuck. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see. Oof. Maybe I should have done thumb pot here. Hmm. Dual cast could save some life here. Too, 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 too many biases is kind of out without frost. I need frost really bad. Dual cats could save some life, yeah? Capacitor is great if I get frost. So like, Capacitor is just really, really good if I get Frost. Let's bathroom real quick. Okay, so Capacitor is kind of a curse right now, but it, we have enough focus and we have two shops here to offset the curse because the shops can help us find what we need, like Frost. Um, ice cream is interesting. There's a world we could do to all these mirror and buys plus. That's, why don't I just go for a, a meme four buys run? The thing is, hologram is really necessary because that, that's my call. It's not number two. Um, do you ever want to just do Dolly's beer on Vice Plus? That's, that's just stupid, right? I want to see if I go for a Frost on the next thing. I do want to buy some of these things, though. I do want to remove another Shrike. I think we have enough attacks, right? We have enough attacks to proc pellets on average if you move Shrike. Hyperbeam is not good because the negative focus happens immediately. But this does give us- wait, this, I guess we have enough focus to lose and this does give us AoE for the- This gives us AoE for the elites. Uh, I don't know about it though. I do want to play optimally, yes. Well, I'm, I don't think Dolly's Mirror Bias is necessarily a meme. We already- Fourth Bias? It's just- it's not often you get four Bias plus. I think I, I withhold doing Dolly's Cold Snap because I have Hologram for Cold Snap now. And we have another shop to maybe find Frost. Like, 4 buys plus with pellets doesn't seem like a meme. And maybe it's too much focus. Yeah, at some point it's too much focus. This is enough damage on the elites to maybe mitigate. It's not, it's not, it's not wrong. This is enough damage against elites to, to do some work. Um, I think we do a charge battery and remove. Oh, we got frost. Oh, we got fission. Do we just do, do? Do we do uh, Dolly's mirror on glacier here, or do we like fission instead? Fission helps us play the other bias cogs and helps us play out the capacitors. So, like fission helps us get at big turns, or do we rather do Dolly's mirror on glacier here? It's a tough choice. By doing Dolly's mirror, we're also going to see another relic we can't buy. All these mirror glitches seems pretty strong, but Fission helps us set up everything. Because this is kind of a setup deck, right? So Fission helps us get the bias out and get all our frost out, and then we just win. I think Glacier Cold Snap should be enough for now because we have Hologram. But Dolly's Mirror and Glacier means we just probably always have the, the frost we need. I don't know, it's a tough choice. 
second glacier plus is pretty strong but fission helps us get to the point where we find the frost but also get all our powers out we also kind of low mana so this helps with our hallway fights as well you know no all these glaciers better than hall cream there this helps with our low mana for hallway fights but also this helps us set up our bias no we're gonna go for a lot of elites so maybe we just go for fission here but this deck only dies if it doesn't have frost out so maybe two glaciers is just really good this is a tough choice fission for, to get through these hallway fights and go for four elites here or a second glacier so we always have frost at our disposal there's also a speed pot with pellets but zero master does work for us absolutely i think fission because energy and card draw which is pretty nice here hmm that show would have been fantastic Do we do Art of War here or do we do Double Dim Gloom? Do we ever want Art of War or do we do Dim Gloom again? We might, we might be taking too much damage. So this is where we do Bias Vision. Just win. Oh, uh, cool headed frost chills also a lot of frost. Oof. I think it's cool headed here. Card draw is really nice. Do we hope that we find an attack with fission here? Do we do double bias and hope that we find an attack, or is that too risky? Worst case scenario, we we have capacitor and stuff later on. Now we have no orbs though, so card draw becomes really important. We still die because we don't have orbs. I have no orbs right now. Um, is Ball Lightning Recursion better, or is Cold Snap Recursion Dual Cast better? Do we go for block or do we go for damage? Maybe block because we have Glacier for block coming up as well. Nah, I'm not going to care about the decks. I have Frost. I don't care about the decks here. I think I'd rather do Cold Snap Recursion Dual Cast to full block. Unless we want to do damage, but damage is not as consistent. The block is more consistent. How much block is this anyways? We have 9 focus, so this is going to be 11, so 22 plus, oh it's going to be 11, it's full block. Last we want to do, we get 22 blocks, so if we do ball lightning recursion dual cast, we can do dual cast on lightning instead. I think we just go for full block. Could you buy Scott Glacier? Does that ever full block here? We gotta go for lethal here. How does one go for lethal here? Do we just do bias called glacier?
Do we like stack? No. What about Claw for attacks? Zero cost attack. We would prefer FTL, but what if Claw for the zero cost attack? For pellets? Uh, I don't think we need stack. We'd rather just launch a frost. Uh, what, what claw for attacks? No. This is probably a good time to do um um thorn pot because why not? Uh, drawing frost is the number one thing. If we don't draw a frost, I guess we just we can just just basically lose. Maybe Dolly's Mirror Glacier was optimal. Is Draco better than Going for Dark Hope is probably better there. I think I'm fine with resting just so I can like, because I don't really need upgrades as much. Wow. So this is kind of a meme, like Amplify Capacitor is... <laughs> I mean, guys, this this might be like an unironic YouTuber where I just do like Amplify Buys Plus and just have so much focus, it's un unbelievable. The number one thing we just need to get is Frost. So the best thing for this is actually the Frost Relic, which where it's called the Frozen Core. Capacitor is also very good there as well. Amplify is kind of a meme, for sure. Doom Gloom now, Glacier. Glacier Doom Gloom. We have a Frost. If he attacks next turn, are we, are we really fucked up? Did we just do Flex Spot and kill both the minions? I mean, Impious is, is kind of a meme. We don't need more focus. We don't need more focus. I look for Do I look for more um buys right now? Can I practice twice in the same turn? Can you practice twice in the same turn? Can, right? We can probably fight in the same turn. I think fishing is fine because I, I want to just get my glacier and my amplifies out.
because more core stumps is really good because it's an attack that is frost. Core stumps is really good for this deck. A motion ship. Wow. Do we ever just rest because we we're scared about taking too much damage, or we want to upgrade our bus at this point? Do we ever dodge an elite though with forty-four life and a fire pot? Like we could just rest because we're fighting two elites. Because we're fighting two elites. We're not just fighting one, we're fighting two elites. And we have so many upgrades. I guess the only upgrade I can do is maybe upgrade buys or capacitor. Those would be great. But maybe I just rest because I'm fighting two elites. Is elites really easy though? My, fr I, If I don't get... Like I have kind of a very setup-y deck. Whereas I have some really big misses. I don't have chill. Chill would be, a, chill would be fantastic. Chill is like the best card for my deck. I should have... Hopefully... I can get one. Can I kill two elites? Am I like over underestimating this deck? Two elites. I don't know. If we don't get frost, we take a lot of damage. Like slavers first turn. Wait, I guess we have red mass for first turn. We have a lot of dead draws. We have a lot of uh, three defense and three strikes. We're going to fight two here. Yeah, two elites. I mean, I could up upgrading Zapdos guys feel nice. Uh, upgrading these powers obviously feel nice. I think resting just makes the most sense because um, it has a lot of setup. But I'm definitely gonna upgrade the next one. Like this is an example of like a bad first turn. It's kind of like validates the rest already. I don't have an attack, so amplify. I think I still do amplify cool headed anyways. Amplify bias, but then. So we're gonna lose two focus a turn. But I don't think it matters. And we could do firepot just to maybe prevent this. I don't, I don't think it matters. We won't be able to do an attack next turn. I still don't think it matters. It's just the first turns that kind of hurt the most. So it's just like uh, self, self repair would be great. I just talked about self repair. This would be really good because it gives us sustains. Because we have a setup y deck, right? And so we have amplified for self repair sometimes. We have a big setup y deck. So if we can set up and then get self repair, we can heal back up the setup. Heat sinks also gives us card draw, but I think card draw is not as good here. Like, I think hologram gives us another glacier on the cold snap, but I think self repair just makes a lot of sense because our deck is so set up here. And I can always hologram that vision. I can also get rid of the. If I hologram vision now, all I need is enough energy to get an attack. Yikes. That's all three costs. Literally everything was three costs. This is why self-repair is so good though. So Amplify self-repair is really strong here. I think I like Bias, Charge, Cold Snap better because I get another Frost Orb. Now, amplify self-repair is really important. Can we ever get Amplify self-repair? It's not, it's not feasible, right? But, yeah, things like Equilibrium become really good in this deck now. Duplication pause is huge. Whoa, Genetic Algorithm is actually... It's early enough that it's pretty good. Oh my god. So we have Amplify, so Defrag obviously looks cool. But, I think we have so much bias we don't need Defrag. If anything, we need Front Loaded Block. That's exactly what the deck needs. Hopefully I can get this off enough times it's still gonna get pretty because it's upgraded it can get pretty big before the heart and front loader block is very important yeah i do got some cool legs i just realized i got some nice huevos right now damn look at my huevos 
Yeah, temp normally like, oh my god, defrag plus, but this, the frontloader block makes a lot more sense here. I think apparitions are actually okay. Because it buys us time to set up. They're all upgraded. They buys us time to set up. And uh, once we set up, we probably don't lose. It, lose. it loses from our max HP, right? So we do lose like 11 HP here. But then it makes our repair worse. Things we have toxic egg, and we just buys us time to set up. It makes self repair worse. But self repair still can be like a little pantograph because if. This can't be bad here, right? Because upper just give us time to find everything we need. And by the time we're set up, we probably don't lose. Or we can just like use our HP as a resource and uh, just self repair to heal back up. Is it bloaty though? Apparitions are never bloaty. It just buys us time to set up. And it allows us to do like Amplify Bias Cog no problem. So okay, think about the heart. The heart could kill me in turn 2 and turn 3. But if I can survive with Apparitions turn 2 to 3, once I get Amplified Bias and all that stuff, we never lose. Once we get this out, we never lose. And it, it, it helps my turn one, turn two, and turn three sometimes. Well, I think it can lose against the heart. So, like, if we just get damaged against the heart on turn two and turn three, we could just die. I, I, that's why genetic algorithms there. So we don't have attacks. Pretty good. Getting some action feedback is pretty nice. We don't need another Demon Gloom. I think upgrading capacitor is the best upgrade here. I can do Cold Snap and get full frost. Or I can get Art of War next turn. Uh, so we're gonna lose our frost by doing fission, but we get we can help find our uh, biased. I don't think we do fission now. I don't know. I don't, I don't think losing frost there is worth it. Amplify that, like that is pretty ugly. Lol. 
you get rid of him out? Are you serious? You're gonna leave me like that? Come on, man. We're supposed to be brothers. Uh, I don't know how sure I want to play this. I'm not sure how I want to play it. I guess we just do it like this. Right, how do we want to do this? We could have had four buys plus. We could have had four buys plus. This is. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, remember how I said Frozen Core is the best thing for this deck? Okay. So now we don't have to worry about Frost anymore. But we already have Apparitions. It makes Dual Cast a beast, though. I don't think we need it anymore. Like, I think we'd rather upgrade Dual Cast, upgrade like our next buys. But like, now we don't have to worry about Frost. And so Dual Cast becomes much better. Fusion Embers gives us more energy to do more things. But... The thing is, it actually just may be calling though. We have Art of War, and we have Energy War for when it matters, like the hallway fights. And we, we can come back to life with Apparition and Self Repair. We, we, don't, we probably don't take damage. It might just be Calling Bell to get a lot of relics. Because of Apparitions plus the amount of focus we have, and the fact that we can heal back up with Self Repair, a hallway fights don't really scare me. And we already have 4 energy, sometimes 5 energy most of the time in hallway fights, I mean elite fights and boss fights. And I guess I can still want to upgrade, I mean I guess I don't need upgrades. I can upgrade the next biased. I could take fusion hammer, but then what are we doing at the campfires? We get max speed with the bell as well, you know, max speed is probably relevant. Do we want to curse in our deck? The deck's getting a little bloaty, right? But what if we get like a ball lightning? I mean a bottle lightning because we have um, more relics. Let's do it. I do, I do think Frozen Core is pretty interesting. That, that card draw is really good. I think Frozen Core was interesting for Frost, but with Apparitions it maybe maybe not as much anymore. Do you want to go for events because we we want Mind Bloom? Do we ever want Mind Bloom here? So this is where like self repair comes in handy. So you see like we're taking oh recursion stop pocket watch that was a mistake oopsies. But we already got full life. Skinny genetic algorithm is the most important thing now. Uh, maybe I should have done genetic there actually. I think I should have done genetic. Uh, I should have done genetic. Uh, I fucked that up. Big time. I fucked that up. I should have done genetic. Just strip your genetic always. Fuck. What colors cards do we want here? They give us gold sometimes, but uh, what colors cards are we looking for? No nothing. A secret technique maybe? about losing life here we have self repair I'll, t I'll do this do we ever need blinds do we ever need any of these 
No, we don't need violence. What does violence do? I guess there's attack so we can guarantee get an attack for uh, the pellets and it also cleans out our draws. So it's actually kind of interesting. It just cleans out all the bad attacks. Violence is a way to like clear your hand. But blind, I don't think we need to weaken because I think where we're going, we're not going to need weaken, right? Pocket watch exists. Losing max HP sucks. Do we just take the curse because we also get max HP off of it? That's too many curses though, right? Do we have a shop to remove? We can move with the writhe. Do I ever take this from max HP and then we remove it at the shop? Because what do we move otherwise? We still want to remove. We still want to remove strikes. I know we don't get pocket watch here. I should have got a genetic last fight, I'm telling you guys. My B. My B, lads. Big, my B. Suffer pair. Do, do we have enough time to scale another genetic? I've already fucked up with the first one now. We don't do that. Another loop. Is the loop even necessary? We have one loop here. But if we take a second loop, the deck it, it's way too many now. Now we're not going to draw into the good stuff. Unless we find bottle lightning, of course. But that's like... Loop is just... At this point, we still die to turn 2 and turn 3. I want to make sure I can get buys. I don't think any more loops. I don't think so. Uh, we need this remove card and get what we have right now is enough to win. We don't need loop, guys. We don't need another one. It's been way too bloaty. Get pocket watch, I guess, but like no, it's not even pocket watch can't offset that enough. Imagine, I want to do this just to get the attacks out of my way because I want to find Amplify and stuff like that. I really want Frost. I was going to do Doom and Gloom. But I really want Frost here. I don't want any of these attacks. So, th so that instead of Pocket Watch, I get rid of all the attacks. You see how good that was to thin on my deck? But now we don't get to get Amplify on anything. Yes, yes, because he's getting even more and more bloaty. That's exactly why. I need more holograms. I need more holograms here. Pocket Watch definitely helps with the bloat. So is Overclock. Put a singular ball landing in there. Right, we're gonna eat an end turn here. Get this out of the way. See that in turn now.
Damn, it's gonna take a while, boys. I guess I can speed up by plane attacks. I can speed up by plane attacks. Also, I can put some lightning because I don't need all this frost. So, how much lightning we can put like two lightning orbs here? But can I even put it on loop actually? I can put this stuff on loop, right? Yeah, let's push it. Let's push it forward now. Uh, I meant to push it forward there. We had lethal there. Whoopsies. Just getting knees too, too, too nice. We had lethal again. Same knees too nice. Uh, I should have done this first. Shipping beam, I don't need. Uh, these upgraded strikes are pretty trash. I don't need shipping beam here. I don't think I like fire pot. I like energy pot better. Because of pocket watch. Then we go for the event instead of a campfire. So what is the campfire giving us? The campfire is giving us another upgrade on like bias, but I think the events are much better. Do we ever need fairy? Genetic out now. I should, I should have been doing genetic a lot more. Now I have no max to with fairy, exactly. Exactly. I guess I have lethal fission there. As long as we get genetic out, we're, we're good to go. Captain's feels great. Hologram number two is really good here. Did I go for two shops instead? Nah. Black prep is fantastic. Sorry, ink bottle. Black prep is really good. Ooh, I would have loved another shoppy shop. Whoa, black prep is huge. The problem is we don't have... Uh, we can heal. We can always do amplify stuff prepared to heal back up. Professor Perry just goes back up, right? So we take damage now, but like... Do we just do Fission first? And don't take any damage here? And now we can take damage, so we heal for 20. Do I ever care about attacks here? Well, I still need attacks for... I still need so violence is good, but I still I get, it gets rid of strikes and barrage and balling, but I still need some attacks here. So Alright, so we can take up to a little bit more damage. I take a little bit more damage here. I can go for Pocket Watch, I can just do recursion again. Oh, I can take the damage here, right? And get pocket watch. Because I have 27. I have a 40 block, essentially. I have 40 block. So I take 7. Puts me at 37. Number still fine. Pocket watch is pretty important. We have another hologram. So we can do amplified bias here. Or we can just do like. 
the genetic out. So I want to get genetic scaling. Yeah, we can kill this guy, but yeah, we're fine. As long as we got genetic scaling, we're good. So taking that damage like we took there is pretty bad. Is Cool Head better than Hologram? Hologram brings back apparitions. Cool Head gives us more cards to get through everything. It is card draw. Hologram gives us more apparitions, but we already have two holograms as it is. The hologram also gives us like Amplified more often. Do we ever just skip here and not take Cool Headed? It seems like we don't, right? I think Cool Headed is just too good. I guess Heat Sinks is also a thing we can think about. We have Courier here. Whoa. Recycle, White Beast, Frozen Eye. Frozen is pretty good here, huh? Sensing Impulse is pretty good. Gold Plate is pretty good. Uh, we're moving one strike, feels pretty good. Right? Okay. Um, what else? Recycle to start thinning out the deck. Can we even take, like, good use of Recycle? So recycle is weird because we have pocket watch, but on the turns where I like draw into recycle, I guess it helps me do more things and thin out the deck a little bit, manage statuses. It's a one card out of forty. I can see for the next shop. I feel like one recycle feels pretty good though, just to manage like wounds and stuff. I think overclock is pretty good as well, right? There's more card draw because the deck is so fat. I know we have we have pocket watch for card draw, but overclock is also a pretty decent card draw. I want to make sure I always, like, since we have uh, Frozen Eye, the card draw is really good, in my opinion. That's double white noise. I think we save for the next shop. We don't care about these relics. I guess we wanted like I guess we kinda want to um like amplify capacitor as well. We have enough cards to offset all this crap though. I think we just do a, a, a lightning just to make my life a little bit quicker and easier. I did. I, I, did I not take the bodge from down the deck? That's what I did. Oh my god, so we have, we have, okay, so how do we lose with Lizard Tail Fairy? Like, truly, how do we lose? Do we just keep Fairy or just double duplication? I don't know if we can ever lose here. Do, do we need Fairy or do we just have Lizard Tail now we have double duplication? Double duplication is better.
In that is the worst case scenario. I mean, I guess this is the best upgrade, Doom and Gloom. Like, what do I even upgrade here? I don't know. I don't even know. It doesn't, it doesn't even matter. These upgrades don't even matter. I don't think there is max focus, but maybe 999. What's up, Raid Scan? Oh, sure. No, it's not legal. This is definitely illegal in many states. Watch this something brilliant. Check this out. Wait, fuck. Wait, fuck, wait. I don't have enough cards. Oh no, I was gonna amplify capacitor. Oh wait, it's not brilliant because I don't have cards. Uh Okay, this wasn't brilliant. <laughs> Whoops. I didn't keep track of the cards. Alright. Oh, not that it matters, I guess. That's, that's four cards though. Because it. Oh, I guess. You're right. I don't have to do hologram there. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Hologram doesn't need to be in that equation. You're totally right. Make a life easier. Should we put Dark on loop at this point?
do we ever have to duplicate it? Uh, average for this? I don't think so, right? The thing is, I wanted to do hologram to amplify biased. But then I don't have an at hologram. Amplify biased, but then I don't have a zero cost attack. I can see exactly what I'm going to draw. But maybe hologram buys is not worth it. Next time I was going to do hologram on apparition here. But next time we have genetic algorithm. Now if I go for hologram for apparition bias, I um... Well, I don't have the energy to do an attack. Does that matter? Because I'll do an attack on the following turn. So maybe it's just like amplify hologram amplify cool headed amp, hologram amplified bias. But then we get rid of our cool headed, and that means we don't get genetic next turn. Hmm. We can just do violence now for an attack, but like the question is, do we want to get? Do you want to do apparition now or no? We can do it next turn. We can take this damage, I guess, right? Sixty-four, sixty-four. We're taking, taking eighty-six right now. If I do amplify bias, we're going to take even more. But uh, I'm gonna do this.
I don't want to speed up this fight. How do we speed up this fight? There's not a pair. Barrage is good damage. Maybe la maybe Zap just helps sometimes. Maybe Zap just helps like move orbs. Maybe Barrage is better damage with the elite. Whoa. Now if we want to do Pentagraph we could. That's another duplication potion. I have basically like, hey, if I ever take damage, I'm so fine. Do we ever just die in this act for elite? What do we? What do we remove now? What's really bad for us? I think maybe Zap is no longer as good. Removing a four, moving a card out of four two card deck feels like a meme, right? Removing a card out of four two card deck feels like a meme. Secret weapon means we basically can always find an attack more often for pellets. This is like, hey, um, you want to make sure you get pellets activated? Take this. I should move a car from this big of a run, this bigger of a deck, feel like a meme. Probably moving Zap here, right? Or is Strike still our worst card? I mean, Strike is a pretty bad card, but... I suppose... We always want attacks for pellets, so I wonder if Secret Weapon is just the better play. I don't even think we need Panagraph. I don't even think we need Panagraph. I think we're taking damage in this fight. I don't think we need Panagraph. We might just buy the boot and see if we get something else. If anything, Secret Weapon helps us get pellets, and that's like pretty crucial, you know? The problem with Secret Weapon is that it can never pull an attack that draws, so it can never pull. Cockman Pile Driver. And the fact that Secret Weapon doesn't can't draw is pretty bad. I don't need some pentagraph. I think we should take this and see what we get. I think I'd rather move Zap here. I think I'd rather move Zap than take Pentagraph, right? If you take this, you can get Echo Farm? Yeah, I know, that'd be crazy. And we could buy Pentagraph as perfect gold. It must mean something. I'd rather move Zap though. 
can just remove self repair instead of zap, I suppose. But self repair could be some insurance for. We have Lizard Tail. I don't think we ever need it. Let me see what happened. Was the play here? Did we remove zap or self repair is something we want to remove now? Ah. Who's that zap here? We got fishing, we got double apparitions next turn. We're never taking damage next turn. Um there's no seek. I do fission. Did we ever just overclock twice? Cause we wanna get closer to like seek so we can get doom and gloom. How do we wanna play this? Loop bias strike. Take the card draw. To take the damage deliberately. So next time we draw, in we draw a full hand of ten. We play double aberration glacier. We do fission glacier. Double apparition, um, and then we draw into all the good stuff. I'm trying to think. If we draw now. Take no damage. We don't get. Well, next year we have double apparition, anyways. Drawing now means we lose one apparition. Um, well, we don't really need apparitions here. Maybe we just overclock. We want to get glacier out now. For frost. And then. The following turn we are fine, and then the following turn we have like seek and a big turn. Well, the following turn we're gonna need hologram before. Well, mm. if I have to play both apparitions now, then I have three turns to set up. I want to put. I want to do fission then glacier, right? We need an attack here. How does this work? I know we have an attack, but I want, I want to play double apparition as well. Seems like I can't. I can't play double apparition here. I have hologram next turn, that's fine. My whole point is that I want to do double apparition, so uh, apparitions mean nothing here this turn, actually. I can just do double apparition next turn. What do you mean, Miha? Mike? What do you mean, Mike? So we can do Seek Amplify Bias here. Then. Seek Amplify Bias. And what else? Do we also want to. S Coming up. Get a Doom and Gloom out. If we do double self-repair, we can take damage here. Do we care about perfect here? I don't think we care about perfect here. Maybe getting cardinals even beneficial. And we can get perfect by doing barrage, but I like I think dark dark this is better. Do we care about perfect? 
No. Dark on loop now. Pick dark on loop. I don't know yet. Do that, I kill him with a uh, dark orb. Turn. Darkness and genetic number two. That genetic is pretty timely, baby. Loving it. All right. Darkness, though. I don't need it. I don't need any of these cards. Um, what is bottle flame good for? Guarantee an attack first turn. So we guarantee like a cold snap first turn. Just in case we get biased, maybe. What do you know? We got biased. We gotta get seek as well. With seek, I don't know if we lose. So do we do we ever do we ever just do double duplication on apparition here because i want to do amplify loop we're drawn to genetic next turn We need an attack next turn. If we get an attack, we don't have an attack next turn. If we get an attack next turn, we can get rid of the debuffs. And by getting rid of the debuffs, then we can play double genetic. Let me see something. Double. What if I just take it's in puzzle now? Okay, we're perfect here. Double apparition. The apparition is like, eh, that's not even that good. I still have apparition coming up. But I can draw into apparition with it for the following turn. Alright, so double apparition seems fine. Let's go! Okay, 1v1. We don't have 
Don't give my perfect hit, right? The second batch was a mistake, actually. Where is it? Drawing to is pretty bad. Oh, we're fine. Should we just do a duplication on Bias again or save it for Apparition? Alright. So I don't care about perfect there. We have apparition for next turn. I can hologram and do amplified capacitor here. And I can do apparition for next turn as well. Now we can hologram amplify loop. So now we can hologram amplify loop. Uh, we can do dark up to get damage, or we can go for double frost. We have a glacier coming up, so I'll do dark up for damage. So now we have four loop, twenty focus, and four orb slots. Now, if we do violence, we get rid of a strike barrage. We get rid of a strike barrage, rebound, ball lightning, and we only draw into good stuff. I think we do ball lightning to strike getting some damage on the heart. I think we don't care about pocket watch next turn and we just do uh barrage because we start pushing damage. That damage kinda sucks right now. I wanna get the last bias out, but I don't have no attacks for it. So I do wanna do I wanna get some pair out as well. I wanna do recursion dual I want recycle next turn to get rid of the wound, but I also wanna do like I want to start pushing damage. Unfortunately, we're not there yet. Do amplify bias if we find an attack. We find an attack. So we have 30 focus now. We do cool snap. If I do rec if I do recursion dual cast, I can get the dark orb damage for now. And we I think we just finish the rest with. Uh, I think we finished the rest with lightning. Remember how I took out my zap? But now I gotta focus on ball lightning. Remember how I took out zap? Yeah, that's problematic. Fuck, we took out Zap. <laughs> I might have to do duplication on, on Ball Lightning here. Three Lightning Orbs should be able to do it, right? Be able to do it. What if we just put like lightning on, on loop now? Is that dangerous? We can get it off loop next turn. That's GG already. What a goddamn run, dude. Holy shit. That run is stupid.
What a stupid run. We won at floor six. We had like that was crazy. Stupid run. Hey, you never know. Let's might have helped. That's a YouTuber. I wasn't like hyping it up, but like the deck itself was just stupid. That was really good. Hope you guys enjoyed it.